Hi, I'm Brian Sparks, Senior Editor of Greenhouse Grower. Welcome to our Shop Talk Tech Tips series on greenhousegrower.com. This month, we are talking with disease experts to learn more about the most challenging greenhouse pathogens, how growers can identify them, and best practices for controlling them. We recently sat down with Paul Pilon of OHP to talk about powdery mildew. Here's what he had to say. Well, I think there's a few things about powdery mildew. Um, it, it's a challenge for many growers because it occurs in the lower, the lower third, uh, half of the, the plant under the canopy. So when we walk by our crops, it's easy to see the things that occur on the top of the leaves, but not necessarily what's happening below. So I, I think by time powdery mildew is detected in, in nurseries and greenhouses, it's you know it's already established and, and on its way to really become a colonized over the leaves and, and affecting the plant quality. So um, where it occurs on the plant is a, is a real challenge. And then I, I also think there's a lot of literature and people out there that will talk about powdery mildew about being a shoulder season disease, meaning it occurs in the late spring or the early fall as we have wide fluctuations in temperature and humidity levels. Now, however, this disease can occur throughout the entire growing season, especially when you're in covered production facilities. This is a disease that unlike most uh, fungal pathogens that require leaf wetness for several hours, powder and mildew germinates, the spores germinate when the relative humidities are high. So again, it can occur in under conditions that growers might not be familiar with. And so again, that can kind of catch you off, off guard if you're, if you're not uh, monitoring your humidity and, and able to um, um, regulate it. We have a new fungicide coming to the market. We're introducing it this summer, in fact. So uh, June, July, just in time for Cultivate, we'll be introducing it. Uh, the, the trade name is Sado. It's a pyro, pyrophenone is the active ingredient. Um, what's unique about this product is the first fungicide in the new mode of action group 50. Um, so that's kind of exciting to have a new product with a different mode of action. So it allows growers to use this in rotation with other uh, powdery mildew products or even other fungicides that they're using. It actually has a vapor phase. So after the application, it will vaporize and, and move from uh, where that droplet landed and, and protect the leaf around that area. And this can be important where, you know, growers don't necessarily have great coverage. So it can kind of cover some of our sins of our applications. It acts as an antisporulant, which stops spores from germinating. And of course, without germination, we were not going to have infection. It actually kills uh, cells of the pathogen itself, so we don't have that future mycelial growth and, and you know, that halts the colonization. It stops the apressoria from developing and penetrating into the plant and, and reduces future spore development. Growing plants at a wide spacing is going to increase the amount of air circulation or movement around the leaves and decrease the humidity that's, uh, you know, occurring again at that bottom third or half the plant. So, you know, that's not always an option, but you know, spacing's a good tool, increasing your air circulation, maybe installing horizontal airflow fans. And if you're in a facility where you're able to provide and manage, provide humidity control through humidity purges, um, you know, that's going to be your, your uh, number one tool I would recommend if, uh, before you even get to some of the, um, you know, preventative and curative uh, fungicide uh, possibilities. With most diseases, Early detection is so very important that you, you identify that the disease is, is present or just starting in your crops. And then you can begin your, your control strategies, whether it's a biofungicide or a, a traditional chemistry, and, and apply these products more on a preventative basis or at the very early onset of the infection. So I, I think I think it really comes down to having scouting and early detection and you know taking those steps that we talked about with managing the environment with the humidity and air movement around the plant. And uh, you know, if we take those steps, um, you know, powder mildew doesn't have to be that challenging. <laughs>